everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is JJ. If you don't already know that, I write short stories every month and they post on my blog. Occasionally I post them here. And if you join my Patreon family, you can get them three or four months early, depending on the, the, the month and the moment and, and how things are going in my life. Um, yeah. Hi! It's nice to meet you. I'm glad you're here. If you're a returning visitor, I'm glad to have you back. Um, I have endings on the mind right now. I'm working on the fourth book in my crime suspense sci-fi-ish adult series. This should be the end of the series. And if you've never written a series, um, a strange thing happens near the end, at least for me. I This is the first series I've ever written all the way through, um, but I just... I just had the weirdest case of writer's block I've ever had. I was talking with some of my friends trying to figure out what it was that was causing this, and we figured it out. So now I'm over the writer's block and I'm back to writing. But I had writer's block because I was delaying the inevitable of finishing the book. You know that feeling when you can tell that you're getting to the end of the book and you're like, you know that there's only so many pages left, and you stop reading for a time so you don't have to finish it? So that the series never has to end for you, so that that book never has to finish. Um, this is something I'm no this is a trend actually that I'm noticing in my own consumption of media. Like, I still haven't watched the end of Arrow. No spoilers, please. Please, I beg you. I want to. It's not that I don't want to see how the whole thing ends, it's simply that. I got to the point where they have the, like, massive crossover, and I didn't want to be confused, so I was like, okay, I at least have to catch up on Flash. But there's, like, two or three seasons that I haven't watched of Flash. And <laughs> that means that I still haven't finished watching Arrow, because I didn't get all the way through Crisis on Infinite Earths or whatever it was that is happening. Like, I, I haven't watched any of that four-part mega crossover event that leads to the end of Arrow as a TV show. I almost did this with Supernatural. I almost delayed watching the end. Thankfully it snuck up on me, so I didn't really have much of a choice in that matter. But like, I was this close to just leaving these things completely unfinished. Which is a strange thing, because then I don't get any of the resolution. Um, and that was one of the things that, especially as I'm going into writing this fourth book, um, trying to finish up, wrapping up all of the loose ends that I've created. Um, there's a lot of resolution that I have to be able to put in here. And I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I am notoriously bad at endings. Notoriously bad at wrapping it all up, giving everybody enough closure. Um, I tend to write with a thought process that there's another book coming. And so to be writing with the intentional thought process of this is the last book, at least for now, there's just a lot that I have to wrap up. And so I'm going back to the best advice I've ever gotten on this, and that's from Stephen James, and that it would be to just keep all of my promises. To go through and actually reread the entire series to this point, in a row, write down all of the promises that I make, and then figure out if I've answered and given good resolution to every single one of those promises. Um, and if I haven't, then all of those promises need to be resolved in the final book. 
specifically leading up to or directly after the climax of the final book. That's a lot of pressure. And it's no wonder that my brain was just like, uh, no, let's not. Let's, let's do something else entirely. Let's think about the next book that we're going to write. And we're not going to focus on that. And we're going to figure out an entire plot and an entire character. Like, my brain literally refused to work on this project until I had the next thing planned. Now we're back, we're, we're rolling, we're kicking, we're going just fine, but like, I am so afraid of not ending this well that part of me is hesitating to end it at all. So if you find yourself trying to write the end of any book, but especially any series, um, well, you're not alone if you find that you don't want to finish it. Um, I also think it's fair to say that there comes a point in any creative process and any creative project, like this happens to me with sewing all the time, where I stare at this thing that I have created and I stare at this thing that I am making and I am creating it from nothing. Well, sewing it's from fabric but it was like a square of fabric and I'm creating an object and there gets a point every time where I stare at it and I hate it I want to throw it away I want to burn it and mostly it's just because I'm frustrated with it not because it's bad or because it doesn't look good because usually it does but I'm just so sick of putting in the work of course, once I finish it, once I just push through that, I'm fine. Um, and I, I love it, and I like wear it around the house for the next, I don't even know, eight days to two weeks to maybe even a few months. Um, the same happens in writing. The, all of my friends, myself included, but especially my friends, I've noticed that most of us, we start doing something and then we get, we're super excited about it. And then about a quarter of the way or halfway through, we're like, oh, this is the dumbest idea I've ever had. And this idea that I'm currently having is so much better. And if I go back and I start over with that idea, then it'll make the whole project 8,000 times better. But you know, you, you want to know a little secret? That doesn't actually fix the problem. The project is still the project, and every project takes work, and ending any project that you've put <sighs> how many hours into months of your life, possibly even years. I have been working on this series in various different forms, rough drafts, brainstorming, note-taking, researching. This series has been in the works since at least 2012. At least. I know that because the other day I found some notes stashed in my iCloud drive of my computer. I thought they were gone forever. I found them and they were dated 2013. I know I've been working on this since at least 2012 simply because... I know that when I created that list of things in that note that I found, it had already been at least a year. I've been working on this thing for almost a decade. It is no wonder my brain doesn't want to end it. It's no wonder I don't want to end it. I'm not ready to say goodbye to the characters. And, that, like, obviously they're still editing and stuff, but I just, I love them. They're my babies. They're my best friends. They're my, my comforts. You know, the, they're the, I'm bored and alone. I'm going to go hang out with my friends, friends that I have. So there's, there's celebration in finishing this thing, but there's also grief. People don't talk about this very often. At least I've never heard people talk about the grief 
that goes along with finishing a novel. Especially a series like this. Like, to say goodbye... I don't know. Maybe someday, hopefully someday, you'll all know what I'm talking about. Um, hopefully you'll all feel the same way about my characters, and you'll be as excited as I am to show you and receive the next installments of the story, but at the same time, there's always the risk that all four of the books that I've written will never leave my computer or my literary agents. There's, there's the risk that they may never even get to you. And that's terrifying. Um, it's a whole year, at least. Possibly even a whole decade of enjoyment that I've had, but also work that I've put in that may never have its final product. That's a weird thing to say out loud. Um, yeah, again, that grief that comes with ending anything. And again, all good things must come to an end. Guess we just gotta make it a good one, right? What are your thoughts on endings? What makes you feel like an author did a good job? Is it that everything is wrapped up? Is it that you got to see the characters readjusting? Is it that it feels good? What makes it feel good? What leaves you satisfied with an ending? Let me know down below. You guys read a lot of books, so 